Deshaun Watson. We finally got an update on Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson could possibly be on the move as early as this week as the November 2nd trade deadline approaches just two weeks away. Um, it has been rumored here that the Dolphins have been talking to the Texans about Watson off and on for months. Those talks have been intensified into serious negotiations after losing to Jacksonville in London, um, which is now the Miami Dolphins' sixth consecutive loss. The Dolphins seem to be more determined than ever to finally execute the Watson trade, and that is um, from the Houston Chronicle right there, a report from the Houston Chronicle, and this would be big. We've heard a lot of talk about Miami possibly being the team that would trade for Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is obviously not playing right now because of the numerous uh, sexual assault allegations against him and, and the legal proceedings that are coming out of that. So, uh, but, and, and, and to be clear, the NFL has not made any judgment on him yet. They have not suspended him the Texans are just have him on the roster and are not playing him. So that's what's going on there. Um, so a lot to make of this. Miami has always been interested in him. They seem to have always been somehow, even though they drafted him in the first round, always waned on Tua and always just just very quick uh, to think about moving on from Tua. And we heard about this before the season. I think Miami kind of sees them now themselves now like losing so much and they might want to try to salvage this season and get a quarterback they can build around at least maybe not even this season, but for the future that they know is good or great. And I think generally from a football standpoint, this would be a good fit for Miami. You have an established quarterback who knows he can get the job done, who's got some pieces, who's got the ability to make things work and I think this defense is very good and Deshaun Watson is going to thrive off would thrive off of that uh, so he'd be a good fit the biggest concern with the Deshaun Watson thing for me the biggest concern for me and it should be for the Dolphins in this negotiation is what's his status going to be by the time you trade for him and is what you're going to give up going to be enough compensation you know, to give up, to take that risk. Because there's a very good chance here that he could be traded to Miami and the second he's activated, the NFL and Roger Goodell put him on the commissioner's exempt list because of the legal proceedings and the allegations against him. Because they're very serious about that. The NFL takes these things uh, apparently very seriously and, and they want to put their foot down about these things. Um so there's a good chance that happens. And if you're Miami and let's say you give up multiple first round picks for a guy who might not play this season and who knows what his legal status, what his status going forward is going to be. That is the big question mark. So you gave up all this thing for all this uh, capital for a guy who possibly might not play. And again, it, it's it's 50 50 about whether or not he gets put on the commissioner's exempt list. But you're when you're talking about multiple first round draft picks, multiple players that is that is worrying. That is wor that should be worrying, and it should give the Miami Dolphins at least a second thought about what they're doing here because they just drafted Tua Tagovailoa in the first round of the draft last year. So this isn't a thing where you know, oh well, you know Tua's a bust. We don't know what Tua is, and we'll talk about Tua specifically in a bit. But they seem to be moving here to Deshaun Watson, taking this big risk. Maybe they know something that we don't know. Maybe they know something the public doesn't know about the, the specific situation with Watson. Maybe they know something that the league office has been talking about with, uh, with due to the Watson situation or, or in relation to the Watson situation. But Miami, you, you, you got to be careful here if you're them. But if this is the route they want to go, I think it would be a good fit. The only thing I'll say is you definitely need to get some, some – uh, better pieces around him at the skill position they got Jalen Waddle who is very good I think and and he will adjust and, he, and I think Watson would actually help him out but he got to put some other pieces around him because we saw as bad as that team was in Houston in 2019 tw or sorry 2020 they went 4-12 and even with Deshaun Watson starting all those games and that's because they just didn't have the talent around him the defense is better than it was in Houston last year the Miami Dolphins defense that is um the skill positions on offense um uh, about the same level I think as it was in Houston last year so Deshaun Watson's gonna still have a lot to overcome um but if Jamar Chase or sorry not Jamar Chase if Jalen Waddle rather comes uh becomes a 
becomes and develops better under him, I think they'll be fine on offense. Uh, thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.